There we go. Uh, probably another crappie though. Like I say, this you can use the blade, you can use a small crank. It's the same thing, you know. five more minutes then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna shoot us back over there then we'll go up along those buoys and we'll kind of run from deep to shallow okay. and then see if we can hit some structure on that you know, a little less foot feet of water but I know they, they got them you know the big ones usually aren't <coughs> a lot of times they're out there deep and they feed on bigger bait they actually out there eating these crappie. Yeah, I had a buddy, he caught one and he had, uh, it was weird. He ate his, he hooked them on his, um, on his crankbait, but the bass had a little crappie in his mouth. of them down there now. What's that? There's a bunch of them down there now.
So how what made you uh, move this way? So uh, same, same. My wife got a Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. I'm going to push this back over here and we'll play these buoys. cooler i like to push out a little deeper because i know that's what the fish do so i kind of start deep because you never know you're at a school deep then you don't need to go in and then i kind of fish deep and go in because mm -hmm. the way i always look at it i think you waste more time trying to fish in the out because there's a certain amount of uh foot depth that they're not at you know what i mean but you never know what that is but there's always fish deep Yeah. And you see that they right. generally don't go past that. Yeah. With the water, the water. <clears throat> yeah, it's just you, us up here, we never know when they decide to, <laughs> yeah. to go out, you know what I mean? To keep moving, how far they're going out. We know they're moving out. We just don't know where they're at right now. Drop shot weight. You getting down there though? It's taking a minute, huh? <laughs> you did, well when it's the badge you know it that's for sure the damn bass is gonna pull the drag come on now go I'm sitting at two feet. Two, three feet. I'm, I'm a little different when it when it start getting chilly. Is that you? Huh? Oh. oh no, I'm saying when it when it start getting chilly, I kind of stay away from the shaded areas. Yeah. Um, I was running shade before because it was more probably more midday. Oh yeah. Just a theory to see if they would be looking for more cover. Mm. 
Mm, that's a nice, that's a fatty too. Boy, no, don't break that rod. That's a fatty, bro. Let's close the camera on late, but I got you. Jimmy Sane, hold him up to you. That's what's up. Uh huh. You know what? I didn't turn my camera on either. <laughs> I turned it on late. I just turned it on, but I got the end of it, so oh. that's a fatty. Yeah, that'll work. That's what's up. Catch y'all, but we doubled up. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's doubled what it up, is. Uh, there it is. That's what's up. Now we got to get wifey on deck. For sure. Look, I forgot I got this in the back. Mm -hmm. So I can see the uh nice That's a chunky. That's a chunker. There you go. That's a chunker. They need that deep water to stay warm as they can. What's going on people? Here to do a quick little outro to let you know about what you've seen on the video. Um, so we hit Claire early this morning. Um, of course, shout out to my boy, Largemouth Lunkin. You can find him at uh, Largemouth Lunkin at IG or um, go ahead and pull him up on YouTube. You know, Largemouth Lunkin. Look at some of his videos. He got a lot of videos out there. He recently came um, this way to San Jose and trying to search some new water. So we kind of linked up. Cool dude. Check him out. Go to his channel. Support. Go ahead and subscribe. Comment on his videos. Look him up. Um, just real quick, we went out. So we went out to Claro pretty early. Tried to find some bass. Um, what I did was I started deep and I kind of work my way to the shore. When it gets real cold, I like to start deep and go in instead of vice versa because you don't know where they are. One thing about bass and when the crappie's running, there's always bass deep, but there's not always bass shallow, so I didn't want to waste too much time. So I'm um, starting deep. We wind up finding them. We didn't find too many. We found a lot of crappie. And then um, once the wife came on the boat, as you've seen in the video, our luck changed. So the good, good luck charm came out. Miss Hook said it came out and we got on a couple bass. Um, he caught a couple and I caught a couple, you know, sorry for the camera angles and the resolution. It was kind of jacked up, had it on the wrong setting. So I apologize for that. Still trying to get used to this whole GoPro video upload thing. So y'all work with me. So, um, go ahead. Just hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe. Please comment questions. Um, like I say, on my local dudes, if y'all ever out going out and you know, we run in or you want to link up. Give me, you know, drop me a line, see what we could do. So thank y'all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoy the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel and talk to you guys later. Look centers.